Hello, my name is Jonas. This in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add lives on your video game by using Construct 3. Now, to get started, we need to have our player, we need to have an enemy, we have to have our platform, and our player should have oops, our player should have a number of behaviors. So if we go to the properties panel. We need to make sure that player is solid, platform, and scroll behavior, scroll to, sorry, is applied. Now, the enemy, we don't need, really need to have any behaviors. The next thing we need to do is add, insert, a new sprite. So we're going to right click, select insert new. We're going to scroll down, select sprite, and I'm just going to call it SPR lives. Click insert. Click once here. Now, I'm just going to use this color here, and I'm, I'm actually going, let's select here. I'm actually going to create three circles. So I'm going to select the first circle here by using the selection tool. I'm going to control C to copy, control V to paste, and I'm just going to click and drag it further up. This will do. Now I'm going to Let's bring it a little bit up there. Okay, I'm going to click away to deselect it and then control V to paste again. And try to give, keep the same distance. This will do for now. Then I'm going to crop. Okay, so this is my these are my lives. I'm going to right click here and select duplicate. I'm going to select duplicate. Now I could duplicate this again, but it, you don't really have to. Uh, so the first frame says shows three lives. The second frame, I'm gonna with the selection tool, I'm just gonna highlight this life and press the delete key on my keyboard. On the frame number two here, I have removed the two lives. And on this frame here, I'm gonna delete them all. But once the third life is lost, the player will be redirected to the game over uh, scene and uh, layout anyway. So you won't be, excuse me, so you won't be able to uh, see this frame. So this frame can be lost. So you can actually just press the delete key. Now, let's close this. And what we need to do, we need to double click again one more time and to go inside the instance and the animation properties is here. So we just need to change the value from five to zero. If we don't do this, what will happen, let's go here and put here 5. If we don't do this, what will happen is, when we actually press play, we'll be able to actually see the lives. Oops, we cannot see the lives because of this, need, we need to apply behavior and add behavior. And we need to apply an anchor behavior. So it will always be visible. So if we press play now, we'll be able to actually see the animation plays and stops there, stops there, okay? Because this is the last frame. So we don't want that. Let's double click here. Let's change the speed to zero. We change the speed to zero. It's, go it's not going to play. Okay, let's press play. And we should have the three lives there. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. Now, the next thing we need to do is make sure you have the level one layout and you have a game over layout and one event seat is fine but make sure the event seat one is on both the layout one and the layout then the game over layout so if on the game over layout is not selected make sure you select the event seat one otherwise your action will not be activated okay let's go back to the uh, level one we've done with the level one we need to go to the event seat now and we need to start applying the events and the actions before we get started adding the events we need two things we're going to right click here the first thing we need is a global variable and we're going to call this global variable lives let's click ok the next thing we need to have we're going to right click here is we are going to add a function and we are going to call it my lives and click OK. Now, 
with the within on function my lives we need to add a number of actions the first action we need to do is add a value to the lives here so we're going to select the system click next add, add to click next lives that's okay we're going to add a value of one click done the next action we need to add is we need to destroy our player we're going to select our player click next and on the search bar we're going to start typing destroy until the option comes up click select the option click done and finally we need to restart the layout we're going to click add action system action click next and start typing here restart and as you start typing restart the restart layout is here click next okay the next event we need to add here now is an on every tick so on every tick we want to make sure that we check in this uh, this sprite lives so we're going to select the system click next and then we're going to scroll scroll down or up until you find on every tick so i'm just going to type here every tick because it's easier i'm going to select every tick click next add an action the action is the actual lives click next and i'm just going to set uh, animation sorry set frame click next and i'm going to set the frame to lives double click it i click done all right so we set the animation to lives to the actual variable lives so as the variable lives is adding one two three is we moving from zero to one from one to two and from two to the third uh, uh, frame within the animation okay the next thing we need to add here is we're going to select our player click next and then we're going to start typing on collision with another object so on collision oops there is on collision with another object click next the object we want is the enemy click OK and done so when this player collides with the enemy we want to call the function we're going to double click on the function and the function we called it my lives click select it click next finally we need to add a system action next and we won't basically compare the variable compare the variable click next and we want to make sure that if lives is equals to three we want something to happen so if lives is equals to three this means that the player has lost three lives we want something to happen what we want to happen is we're going to select the system and we want to so we're going to start typing go to yeah layout and we want to go to the game over layout okay so i'm going to press play i'm going to move the character one two and three and we are on game over layout now what do we want we want to actually go back be able to go back to the actual game so we need to click here to play again so we have not done anything yet so it's not going to work yet so if we go to the game over i've added one text box here and one text box here that's all what we need to do is we need to right click here insert a new object scroll down and let's find the mouse Oops. Uh, touch okay I think I've applied the mouse. Okay, the mouse is there. So make sure if you're if you have not selected the mouse, make sure the mouse is selected. Okay, so it's here now on my objects. I'm just gonna go to the events. I'm gonna add a new event, and I'm gonna double click on the mouse, or select the mouse and click next, and then we'll say on click, click next, left click. That's okay done so when somebody clicks left click with a mouse i want something to happen what i want to happen is i want to go to layout and it's going to be level one 
Now, I've got a problem now, because even though I've redirected the player to the level 1, it will not go to the level 1, only because the global variable will be still equals to 3. And if the variable is equals to 3, it will always redirect me to game over. So what I will need to do here, before I actually activate the go to level 1, I need to make sure the lives variable is set back to 0. So I'm going to add a new action. I'm going to select system action, double click, and I'm going to select set value, next, and the lives value, I'm going to set the value to 0. Click done. So basically I'm resetting the lives. So I need to click and drag this above because I want to make sure that the global variable is set to zero before I redirect the player to the level one. Let's press play now. And if I click here, the, the game starts. Losing one life. I'm losing second life. I'm losing third life. I'm going to game over. And if I click here, it takes me back to the game and so on and so forth. This is how you add lives by using Construct 3. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will apply these new skills onto your video game. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.